Alexandra Ivankovic, these are your favorite things. Number one, favorite musician, band, artist. Uh, there is an Australian band that is amazing. Uh, their name is Hiatus Coyote. Wow. Coyote is spelled like with a K, so it's a little different. Um, but they do really cool like rock r and B. I I don't know how to describe it. It's just really cool. They have really great sound and it's like... Sometimes the songs will feel like it's three songs, you know, so it'll start out and you're like vibing with it and then there's like a switch up and then like you forget about the beginning and then they like settle you back into the first piece mm. and you're like, oh my God, wow. Nice. So, Are they a modern band? Yeah. They're, they're yeah. new, fresh, young? Yeah, they're still making music. Wow, um, okay. So the lead singer, her name is Napalm. Um, she just released a solo album, which is really great. It's a more like R&B soul kind of feel. Mm -hmm. um, but me and my girlfriend saw her yes. perform live in Los Angeles, and it was just amazing. It was just her and the guitar. Her guitar is named Michael Jackson, and it's like a shredder guitar. Wow. Like, so this is an American band? No, they're Australian. Oh, yes, you said. Yeah. You said. Forgive me. It's okay. An Aussie band, but you saw them in LA. Yeah. Yeah, just the singer, not the whole band. Oh, yeah. Remind so me I'm of the name of the band. Hiatus Coyote. So that is not for all time, but at the moment. Yeah. For all time. Um, Do you have, is there a name of a, an album as well? Give me the name of the album oh, while we're doing um, this. Choose Your Weapon is Wicked. their most recent album. Yeah, Choose Your Weapon. Fantastic. It's super cool. Um, I think all time, though, I would have to go with Amy Winehouse. Okay. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. And her, fa your favorite album of hers? Um, I like her Frank album. It's I called like, Frank. Yeah. Okay. Frank. Um. There's a song on there that's like a demo version called "What It Is." Okay. And me and my friend Christina, that's like our favorite song to sing together because it's just like so emotional. And nice. You just like sing it so loud. Great. It's great. Yeah. Fantastic. Amy Winehouse. Okay, favorite song we did all that of all time. So the favorite song of all time? That's a hard question. I understand. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You if can't. I can, it's too many. Yeah. <laughs> <Favorite, laughs> on the spot, you know. <laughs> I know. Favorite movie mm. that you might have seen recently, and then for all um, time. I think I will just have to go with an all-time favorite: the movie okay. Ten Things I Hate About You." Wow. Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I think. Wow. Yeah. When they're what all year? like really little. Yeah. I think it was like 99 was when wow. it came out. 97 or 99, the late 90s. I'm going to check that out and yeah. show Tallulah if it's, she hasn't already seen it. Yeah, because it's um, The Taming of the Shrew. Oh, it's wow. Okay. That's yeah, fantastic. But like a modern version. I see. Julia Stiles, that was her wheelhouse, wasn't it? I think Doing so. the sort of thespian, Shakespearean stuff. Yeah. She was seen as a bit more so academic. So she's the shrew in, the, yes. in that movie. I think I've seen... Uh, who's the pretty boy in it? Heath Ledger. Oh, yes. While he was alive. Yeah. Shit. That was a long Before time ago. Before the Joker. Yes, of yeah. course. Teen almost Ledger. Yeah. yeah. Was it shot in the uh, Upper East Side? Was it sort of high school-y? Yeah. High school -y? Although I think... I don't know where... I'm trying to remember if I've seen it. Um, is it a New York kind of vibe? It seems a little bit more sunny than New York. Oh, really? I like yeah, maybe. but I think it is still... Um, I don't know. I'm really trying to think. Because I, I remember the one line of the dad. He wants his daughter to go to the same college as her, but she wants to go to Sarah Lawrence. East Coast. Which is in New York, yeah. So I think it's they New live... York. Um, on the Upper East Side. <laughs> somewhere. I don't think it's in New York, but it's like... In the area. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, 10 things I hate about you. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite TV show? Now and forever. The Office. Totally. Forever? And now? Yeah, I can watch it a million times. Um, so double G. And it still, still gives me giggles, you know? Um... Cool. So we're talking yeah. about the American office. It's, yes. Okay. The American US office. version. Brilliant. Favorite uh, actor? 
Um, oh, <laughs> now I can't think of her name. Um, actor. <laughs> actor can be girl. Oh no, I not was, not in this one. I, I was, have to dis. I have oh, okay. to Okay, you have actor and actress. I do. It, yes, I want. I want both sexes. When I, I don't was, want to leave any sex out. When I was doing acting, um, someone told me that if you say, I'm an actress, mm. people won't take you seriously. Is that true? I and think, it's stuck. I think so. Yeah, so I just call You're both an actor. male and female actors. Right. Um, but okay, favorite <laughs> male actor. Um, A male actor, yes. An actor of the male gender. Um... Wow, this is so hard. There's no one that you, n you you're going to go to see the film just because they're in it. Um, if you enjoy their work that much. Yeah, I guess it would probably be um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Again? From, yeah, from early on, you know, like I just really like seeing how he's progressed as an actor because mm. he plays like, you know, a little like unpopular kid there but he's played like a wide variety of roles i think that he's a really great actor great joseph yeah. gordon levitt there's one for the books not the obvious and the far from bad brad pitt that one <laughs> <laughs> okay favorite actress uh, um i can picture her face right now but i what can't is she in to think of her name um she is in is she, is and they all just rushed out of my head. Yeah, she's American. Um, what kind of movies? Oh. She was in a lot of like romantic comedies. Was she? Oh, from The Notebook. That's her most famous one. Now, I don't know if I've seen that. But I can't think of her name. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. Is The Notebook good? It's so good? great. Is it it's so great. great? Yeah. Did you cry? Of course. Only the first time, you know, because then you know what happens. So do you think I should see it? If definitely. I haven't seen it. You should definitely see it. Is it a comedy actress? We've got to... Um, you can keep thinking and then we'll come back. But uh, you're not going anywhere until you've given me the name of the actress. <laughs> uh, favorite model? Um, I really enjoy Cara Delevingne's work. Yes. I think because she's like out Go there and goofy, yeah, goofy and, and... real and outrageous almost. Mm -hmm. But still able to like Pull deliver like clean and... And she's an actress too. Yeah. And a really quite serious one. Yeah. And I remember reading an article that was interviewing her and she said that she originally wanted to be an actor as mm. opposed to a model. But I she think got there like, in wasn't the end. Taking, being taken seriously because she was pretty. So then she was like, all right, you know, I'll use that to my advantage. Fantastic. And yeah. She's a good example, actually, and a good role model for someone who can do both. Mm-hmm. At the same time. Yeah, I just saw the movie she was in, uh, Valerian, and I think that she did really well in it. As a sci-fi character? Mm-hmm. She's like a space agent or something. Wicked. For, for the government, yeah. Love it. Did you see the last Star Wars? I did not. The I, most I wouldn't recent say. One. I wouldn't advise you go see it. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it at all. Yeah, I hear they're going to be putting one out every year now. Of course, so. yes. Big franchise. Favorite designer? Hmm. Um, I really like Ellie Saab. You do? Her, her stuff, yeah. And there's another... I just love looking at, like, beautiful, like, gowns, gowns and things. dresses. Yeah. For your red carpet moment. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Practicing. Good. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. So, favorite accessories, which is shoes, bags, and sunglasses. Okay. From those? Or, like, any accessories? Anybody. Any brand. Oh, a brand. Yes. Um, hmm. And it can any be anything. It could be vans. It could be, you know... You know... It doesn't have to be highfalutin. I really like Target's purses. <laughs> That's a first, but a very welcome addition to the series. Yeah, Target has... Good um, purses. Yeah, they're basic and still, like, stylized, you know? Now, when we say purse, we mean a handbag, right? I say mm -hmm. a handbag. Yeah. Americans say purses. Handbag. 
But Americans would say purse mm-hmm. for a lady's handbag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or I've heard pocketbook also. That's right. Tage. <laughs> yes, Tage. <laughs> for, for the bag. Okay. Shoes. Um, I love my Doc Martens. Doc Martens. You can't beat Doc DMs. Martins. You've had them for five years. They're still going strong. <laughs> and Great I'm even considering getting another color. Though. Fantastic. Yeah. And it's they great. make them in every color now. Mm-hmm. wasn't the same back and in my day. And even other fabrics, too, That's now. That's true, yes. An yeah. infinite variety. Um, and sunglasses, if you wear them. Um, in California, you, do you? I do, yeah. I got sent to me some sunglasses from someone who reached out to me on Instagram that are this brand, Hawkers. Wicked. Let's plug Hawkers. Hawkers. Yeah. Like it. They have really great... Yes. Is, yeah, and they're like super cute and I love that. Durable. A know. new brand, Hawkers. Yeah. Okay. And it's not too expensive either. Like they're sub you know, hundred? Yeah. Under a cool. hundred dollars, you know, so that's Around nice. There. Yeah. Cause I don't like spending too much on sunglasses because I feel like mm. I'm eventually gonna end up stepping on them or, or losing something. them. Yeah. They're so easy to or lose. they'll get scratched, you know. Yeah, so. that's right. Keep it cheap. Mm-hmm. What about, where do you live in Los Angeles? What area? Um, I live in like the east part of the valley. Oh yes, Glendale. Yeah, so okay. Glendale is technically its own city, but it's still in Los Angeles County. Do you know therefore what a valley girl is? Are you surrounded by them? Every time you go <laughs> yeah. to the mall or the shopping? Yeah. Yes, you got a good read on that. Yeah. So I if think... you had to play one in a show, you'd be down with that. Yeah, I think I could do it. I think I would need, like, lip injections or something. <laughs> First. Paris lips and you'd be I, re- ready to go. I think that that's, like, the new thing. Is it? Yeah. Is that what they're all doing? Mm-hmm. Botox? No, they're too young, but... Yeah. <laughs> the moms are no, doing No, but they'll the Botox. get, like, the lip injections that last and then will fade away, you know? Wow. But then I think it... I just think it looks weird. It does look very Sorry, weird. <laughs> I think it looks weird. Honor your own beauty, I say. Mm-hmm. Uh, favorite makeup? Do you wear it? I do. Um, what do you wear? I really like, um, there's a brand from Los Angeles that's like Anastasia Beverly Hills. And she does a lot of... I love that. That's so Beverly Hills. Yeah, right. (laughs) Um, Anastasia. (laughs) That's wicked. She has a really nice eyeshadow palette that I I love. I love it. Eyeshadow. Eyebrow things She has a website. Is it swanky? I'm going to put that down. (laughs) Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah. So she has great products. Love um, that. And they're really popular out in LA too. Cool. Do you go out to clubs and... Places in LA. Um, Where's the happening place now? Is it always? It's always the kind of chateau, isn't it? Yeah, there's Still. a lot of like clubs to go. There out. are. Some people would tell me that I wouldn't make it unless I went out all the time. That's rubbish. Um, yeah, it is. But I did make. I have made some connections. You have in in the club scene. So it kind of does um, work too. Yeah, yeah. You have to at least but, try. Yeah, <laughs> and you have to like still beware. Of all of like the fake people or just the people who are looking for someone to use for their own personal gain. And there must be a lot of that out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I haven't really been to a club recently. I used to go to One Oak a lot. I know One Oak? One Oak, yeah. I know there's one in New York too. Okay. Um, but there's a new place called like the Highlight Room that I've been that's cool okay um yeah wicked there's a lot of little clubs and lounges out there love that favorite perfume do you wear it sometimes i really like the victoria's secret bombshell perfume wicked i think it's like a classic feminine fragrance nice yeah favorite shop to buy things in um even if it's online well, then I would just say Amazon. But you would. No, <laughs> that's fair count. enough, isn't it? I think it counts. It's the biggest store in the world. It is everything. It's all and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Otherwise, the grocery store. <laughs> your local gro- grocery store. Are there farmer's markets and stuff still? Oh, yeah. In Glendale? Yeah. <laughs> Every uh, week. Okay, great. Yeah. For local, for locally grown produce. Mm-hmm. Um, favorite city place to live? 
do you know, it could be places that you've been or places that you want to mm -hmm. conceivably live and be. Um, I think there's some really nice, like if in terms of like living to build a family, mm -hmm. I think that there are some really nice places in like Orange County in California. Yes. Um, I'm just really drawn to Southern California you weather. Are. Although so my, I'll... I've got to say my father lived in Irvine. Okay. California, yeah. which is in Orange County, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it was built in this spirit of an ideal suburbia. Mm -hmm. But all the kids went on drugs and joined gangs. Yeah, I because think... Because there wasn't much to do. Boredom and... Yeah, and I think that um, there's a really high, like, frequency of drug culture in Southern California, which is honestly... Now that I'm thinking about it, probably not the best place to raise children. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. And who knows what, um, what's that drug, the big drug in the, in the country? Not the opioid crisis, but crystal meth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's probably lots of crystal meth there too. Probably. Breaking bad. And yeah. All. So yeah. maybe not. Lots of meth and I but you're think gonna there's a lot of heroin there. As well. Yeah. Drugs are everywhere, aren't they? It's yeah. a terrible thing. Don't do drugs. <laughs> yes, there is a rising uh, teenage and childhood incidences of depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. mental illness generally. Yeah. And I don't think these things help. I don't think so either. Social media, all of that business. Yeah. Feeling anxious about everybody who's doing things, the feeling of missing out, mm -hmm. peer pressure, cyberbullying, it goes on and on. Um, my daughter wants a phone now in fifth grade and she would be one of the very few not to have and I'm going to be the the bad dad who says no <laughs> and keeps Although her brain Although I think free. that's great like my parents didn't let my brother and sister have a phone until high school and then as it was evolving... That I, was then. Yeah. And I was able to get a phone in middle school. In, okay. In seventh grade, I got a phone. Seventh grade, I think, is, a, is the minimum. But even still, you know, you don't you, you have, don't like, need... social media apps, you oh, know? right, like, yes. You only use it to, like, text your mom. And I'm talk to your friends. school or... Yeah, right. On the well, phone. Was, yeah. You literally spoke to your friends on yeah. the phone. You're of that generation. Yeah. Wow. Like, T9 Word, you know? What's that? That's um, if you have like a flip phone, right? And you're texting with the numbers oh. instead of pressing, you know, four times to get to yes, the S. Yes. You could just press the keys that the letters were in oh. and then your phone would guess what word you were trying Wicked. to say. And then you could like scroll through the options of the words that you can make through those keys. Slightly clunky, but better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> if you were good at it, you could, I could you text so fast. Yeah. You see. But then... That was modern technology iPhones back then. came out. Yeah, that was it. That <laughs> Not was long it. after that. Exactly. Okay, favorite restaurant, place to eat food? Um, any food truck that has, like, street tacos. Mm -hmm. So, like, just the Taco little... Taco girl. Yeah. Little tiny corn tortillas. Would that double as your favorite food? Meal? So, um, like, like, you were being executed... What yeah. would be the last meal that you'd ask? I would probably for? ask for um, like a nice filet mignon, like a nice steak. Meat. Yeah, a nice steak with like chips, broccoli, and yeah, and yeah, <laughs> fries. French fries. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Maybe with like mustard? some Parmesan cheese. No, no mustard. I'm not you don't a fan mustard. of ketchup or mustard. Wow. Yeah, my brother loved ketchup. When he was young, he would put it on everything. Mm -hmm. I remember watching him put ketchup in his milk one time. That really put you off. That yeah. was the last straw. Yeah. So I just, That's I just very can't perverse. with ketchup. I couldn't. That's put me off forever. Yeah. Just hearing that. Yeah. Favorite holiday destination? Favorite holiday destination? <laughs> what best hotel? Grandma's house. <laughs> Back to grandma's? Yeah. Um, she would just take care of you? Yeah. I love that. These are great answers. Um, exercise. It must be dance, right? Yeah. Um, otherwise, in LA, I'll go on hikes. But um, here I've been taking some yoga classes. 
which is nice since I'm not like dancing or mm. hiking or anything. I feel like that's a good balance of like the stretch and strength. Do, do the dancers generally warm and are attracted to yoga? Or do they, or is yoga not like your dancing stretching routines? It's a separate thing. Um, it is separate, but in a lot of the dance classes that I take, the stretches that we'll do will include some yoga. Oh, okay. And I've even seen out here, um, and I haven't gotten the chance to go to one of these classes yet, but I want to try. It's Yoga for Dancers is the name of some wow. of the classes. Right, specialized. Yeah, because I think dancers in general are more flexible totally. than like someone else who's, you know, a like yogi. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a yogi, but I can't do what you do. Yeah. I can't do what Tulu does. Yeah, so like... Um, they're similar, but definitely different. Perfect. Yoga it is. And hiking. Mm -hmm. And favorite animal, pet? Kitties. I have two. You do? <laughs> yeah. What are their names? What breed? Buzz and Woody, like from, from Toy Story. Yes. Um, and they are foster brothers. So okay. they, I got them both from the same place in Maryland actually uh -huh. so I flew them on a plane out with me to Los Angeles so nice um but yeah Buzz is all black I think he's a Bombay cat mm, so I'd probably be allergic to Bombay <laughs> why do you say that I'm allergic to cats certain breeds obviously not okay. like yeah. the hairless sphinx <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a Devon Rex yeah. and a Cornish Rex. The yeah. weird ones. The weird looking ones. The weirder the better. Yeah. I think he looks like a panther. Like his nose oh, is wow. a little bit shorter and his fur is a little bit more coarse. Oh, good. You that, know, so uh, he's still soft, yeah. but like a different kind of soft. Wicked. Not like silky smooth. Um, and then Woody is like a tuxedo cat. I, Black and white? Yeah. So I, I call him the cow one because uh -huh, he looks yes. like a cow. Yes. <laughs> he's not quite as like agile as oh. Buzz, so he's a little bit bigger too. Did you get them at the same time? Mm-hmm. So I think that they think that they're brothers. And they get on. Yeah. Yeah. And my girlfriend, actually, um, we just moved in together last summer. Wicked. And um, yeah, it's great. We um, rescued, so it's technically her cat, but like... Mm -hmm. We all live together. Yes. Um, we rescued She's another... not possessive? No. Good. No. She, the cat thinks that we're both her moms, I think. Cool. Because our friend found her in a box. It was like the hottest day of the summer. And it was right before we moved. And her friend like just decided to take... She was like five weeks old. She would fit on one hand. Wow. Like she still had like the long baby furs. You oh, know, wow. yeah. and she was all black with blue eyes. Um, and our friend was like, I don't know how to take care of a cat. And I was like, well, I do. Like, I yeah. got these kittens when they were um, two months old, which is older, like mm -hmm. twice as old as she was. But I still was, you know, more able to take care of this cat than she was who yes. had dogs. Um so at first we were like, yeah, you know, like we can foster her and keep her until we find her another home. But then we just fell in love with this little kitty. So nice. She was like super crazy and vicious. Like once she started like exploring and like running around, she, when she played, she would leave like all kinds of like scratches. On you. And bite marks on us. Yeah, like this is old, but that's from her. Wow. Yeah. That's deep. And like she loves to bite like the heel of your hand. I got bitten this morning from a friend's. I went round to use his Fios <laughs> to upload my videos. And his, I think he, uh, Troy was a, oh God, a Siamese. Okay. Very, I heard that very they're beautiful. Kind of mean. He was rubbing himself up against me. Hmm. And then I, I was, I was doing that and he bit yeah. me. Yeah. I think sometimes. Like, that's just how they do it. They'll show their affection. I agree. Like they get too excited. It was excited. a love bite. It was a love yeah. bite. Yes. Yeah. And now she's like so sweet. Like she's like <laughs> the sweetest little thing. She'll like Cute. want all the love. Yeah. And last but by no means least, your favorite social media platform to engage in. Um, in terms of communicating with my friends, I prefer Snapchat. Still. Yeah. 
But in terms of um, Instagram like stories, business, was, was supposed to have killed off Snapchat for yeah, models. I just don't think of going on Instagram to post my daily things. That's you know, so I use it good. for business more and like posting like pictures from oh. photo shoots and jobs that I've done. Um, yeah, so I'll use Instagram more for like a business thing and like connecting and networking. Mm. But like if I'm just, you know, trying to figure out what my friends are up to, then I'm really? going to do Snapchat. Is that because they're on Snapchat too? They would have to be, no? Yeah. Yeah. My mom has Snapchat. <laughs> it's So it's not being killed off. No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but not in my experience. I like that. Apparently, teens and kids are on Twitter. Yeah. At high schools and things now. They're using Twitter. I to used to use Twitter a lot, and then I just got frustrated. There oh, was yeah? a lot of, like, just ignorance, you know, and it's everything is happening constantly. It's overwhelming. Yeah. It was for me. Yeah, and I realized, like, in high school, I would go, like, a couple weeks without being on Twitter, you know, and then get back on. But in those two weeks that I would be off, it was like I would get to school and, like, have no idea what was going on. Like, everybody was using it and was, like, already talking about something that happened. Wow. And I'm like, I need to be, like, completely caught up from the beginning, you know? Wow. So I think that if it's used... Properly, Twitter can be great for getting information and current events mm -hmm. right when they happen and hearing other people's opinions. But otherwise, yeah, it's overwhelming and stressful and inaccurate. So let's keep Tallulah off the Twitter when, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when she doesn't get her phone. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Alexandra, you were wicked. <laughs> I had such a good time talking to you today. Thank Those you Those were your favorite much. things. Thank you for coming and talking to me. And I hope you haven't blown out because look how sunny it is and look how pale you are there. <laughs> I'm going to have to check the viewfinder. Bye, everyone. Lots of love. Bye. Take care. Bye.